Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Mr. GWS, and today we're going to check out this brand new smartphone from Sony called so Sony Xperia at Z3. Yes, this is the first phone. Yes, the first Sony Sony Xperia at Z smartphone to feature the OLED panel, and also the resolution also kicks up with the QHD Plus, rather than Full HD Plus, which is you not know, 1080, I guess. So it's a 1440. The OLED panel with a HDR compatible, of course, just like the ATZ2, the display is also you know, can be up converted to HDR from your standard videos. Of course, you no, know, no, just like the any OLED panel is you know, much deeper blacks. Of course, this phone is also redesigned with a curve, not just on the back but. No, on the front with the curved sides like the you know, Samsung Galaxy smartphones yeah sort of of course you know, the phone which also has more than dust resistance uh, Koning Gorilla Glass 5 uh, of course the fingerprint scanner is also awkwardly placed on slightly below than it should of course the f camera is also the same 90 megapixel shooter with AI technology whatsoever of course, the front also improved from 5 to 30 megapixel with f1.9. Of course, this phone is also can record a 4K HDR video. Yep. And of course, it has a stereo speaker on the front with high res audio, which using no doesn't have a headphone jack, but more or less relies on the Bluetooth headset. Of course, it runs Snapdragon 845 with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 so gigs of storage. Unfortunately, yes, it's the same, uh, more or less the specs wise uh, than the at Z2. Of course, it also can spend uh, via micro SD card. Let's see about that. Yep, micro SD. Oh, it's a 5 megapixel. Oh my god. It can't be serious, right? I thought it's a 13. Yeah, and the battery is slightly, you know, improved to 3330 mAh. Of course, I could charge 3.0 or whatever. Available as well as usual. But just to make sure... Oh, yes, it's, a, it's 30 megapixels. Maybe that was it's just a mistake or something. And of course, you no. Know, more or less, uh, it comes with the adapter as well. Uh, it also has HD audio, you know, from the Bluetooth. Of course, wireless Bluetooth headset that supports it. So you know, is it a really surprising phone from, you know, from any perspective? I would say no. But, uh, but I guess the color is much more attractive this time around. Besides the black and white, you know, the green and the the violet or red whatever you want to put it it looks really attractive and of course the I think the I think the top or width I think is much more improvement over the SZ2 which is you know, quite thick this one is slightly thinner even though it's not the thinnest of all round of any uh, flagship phones we've seen this year like the Note 9 or even the no V no the G7 from LG. So what do you thought about the Sony SPU at Z3? So do you really surprise this phone will be the first or the first phone to having the OLED panel or are you really got attractive with the OLED panel or more or less other design language standpoint? Me personally, I felt that it's kind of unsurprising since the design is pretty much very similar to the ATZ2. More as well call the ATZ2 Plus where the ATZ3 since the ATZ3, yeah, so ATZ3 might be a lot different but more or less, unfortunately, unfortunately it's more or less the same. <sighs> How should I put it? And yes, this is the first phone to run Android 9.0 Pi. Yes, the first uh, third party smartphone. I think, if I'm not wrong, the ATZ1 is the first phone using uh, Android Oreo. 
maybe someone will correct it, you know. But if I'm not wrong, that phone is the first phone running Android Oreo, of course, from the third party smartphone. This is also the third party smartphone to run Android 9.0 oh, Pi. So, what do you think about the Sony Xperia 3? Or no, or should I say the XZ3? Leave your comments below and I will see you on the next video and follow my socials, Mr. GWS. Thanks for watching.